Good morning, everyone. It's 4.30 in the morning. So I hope that you can hear me because I have to try to really whisper. We're in bed. We're still laying down. I've been up since 3.30. I really, I slept hard last night. And um, I really needed that. So I've been up since 3.30. I already posted the Dollar Tree haul for today. And now I'm just going to watch the morning wake up and then we can start boogieing and moving around the campground. This is why I love tents. I love to take the top off, which I wish we had last night, because then you can see this all around you when you wake up in the morning. All the treetops and everything, but I have the window open just a little bit for fresh air. And it's just so beautiful, I love it so much. really awesome like it's time to get out of this tent and walk to the restroom I am such a project hold on I think that there was definitely something out here last night that I wasn't ready to run into. So sometimes I just come over here and sit by the waterfall and like just listen to the sound of the water trickling, which is really nice. Oh good, I see some people walking around already. So, I'm gonna get up to that restroom and then freshen up for a little while. The showers here are fantastic. I could stay in that shower all day and they played my favorite radio station. And so when they play my favorite radio station, I am in the shower singing. Sometimes I'm not gonna lie, there's a little bit of dancing. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. See you in a bit. I absolutely love, 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 love these swings. We sit out here and swing, kind of just rocks back and forth while I wash dishes and stuff in the evenings in the sinks, which is really nice. And then I'll show you really quick as long as nobody's in the bathroom. Like these are just great bathrooms. Like no porta potties up in here. There's all the stalls, but then down here is the whole shower set up. You have like all of the little things to hang your belongings on. Little shelves. So yeah, so this is where I get my, my day started, guys. That's it. See you guys when I 
wake all the way up. I'm about to t attempt to make a corsage and a boutonniere at 5.30 in the morning, y'all. Let's get to it. I am so excited. I don't know about you guys, but it's really, really good. I need to wait a second to connect. All right, I just finished the centerpiece for the corsage with all of those floral stems from the Dollar Tree. Um, that ribbon was something that I had on hand from Hobby Lobby from a long time ago. I don't actually know that I'm going to use that. I might go and get a different type of material to tie the corsage onto. I think it came out absolutely beautiful. The zip ties worked really well. That um, floral tape right there also made the boutonniere. And now I just have to go get ribbon for the boutonniere and this is how that came out and then i'll wrap really cute ribbon all around oh it just came out i'll wrap ribbon all around the bottom and i already got some pins to stick it in his lapel and i just think that they came out so good i'm telling you uh, you can make things for such a fraction of the cost with dollar tree items and they come out just as stunningly beautiful i hope that the kids are gonna love it on their junior social night i can't wait to bring it to his best friend that's going with his girlfriend so this is how they came out and i enjoyed making it very much sitting here at 5 30 in the morning it's now seven and the sun is coming up and the sky has changed and it's absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to wring out that tie-dye and hang it on the clothesline that I created over there so that's what's next now lift up your hand for me and show that the bow under the bottom and then you just tie it on with a little bow. <laughs> I love my husband. He's so he, he's such a help. I haven't had a coffee yet. <laughs> I can do whatever I want to him when he when he hasn't had coffee yet. So that is how it came out. Again, I just have to go get ribbon and put it around the base of this and then just pin it to his lapel but that's it and then again thank you to my husband for being a wonderful sport and helping me model this so that I could give it a little once over actually on the wrist which really helped out so let me know that's if I have a hand modeling career people <laughs> <laughs> all right he's off to fishing see it in a little bit with some tie-dye hanging on the clothesline
time to start rinsing out the tie-dye. My dear, I cannot wait. Uh, I can't wait to ring the sun out. People. Say it again while they're speaker. Good morning, people. I am just a tie dyeing queen over here. He's drinking coffee. And then I'm going to go over and show you up close and personal the last couple of pieces to my tie dye. Start kickoff of the summer. All oh, these came out so pretty, y'all. Woo! I love it. I love it. Whoa, almost fell. Of 2021 has begun, and that was so much fun. So much fun, and the husband is still a fish. Come closer. He's got a baby bath. Oh, he's so cute. Such a sweetie. Hold on. I'm going to take you for a walk around the pond. That's how we're going to start off. I already showed you the walk from our site up to the bathrooms yesterday. 
um, and this morning, in the beginning of this vlog. So we're starting past that point. And this is the rest of the way around, all the way to the front. That sun doesn't know whether it wants to come out or stay in today, but it's still nice and warm. And the sky looks really cool. I'm pretty sure we'll most likely see a rainbow at some point today. So let's get around the pond. This is where you come in over here. You have to have like a security pass and stuff to come into the park. It's sunny and raining. That rainbow, I can feel it is gonna be shining bright today. At nighttime, they'll fire up the pit. People will come and sit on the benches and just kind of chill. The little convenience store is in there. Over here is like the little laundry room where we can do laundry, wash and dry, fold over here. Pretty flowers. And then the bathroom for women and men. And um, so it is uh, about a 15 minute walk. So I just did little segments of the walk because all you're really going to see is people's RVs and cars and I don't really want to get families out walking. There were some kids with them, um, you know, on their scooters and bikes and what have you. So I didn't want to get them in the shot, but let's keep going. This is actually where we were supposed to get married several years ago when we first initially planned our wedding. We were going to get married on that dock right there at sunset. And we were going to have the reception in the hall, um, the little rec hall that's over here. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm really sad that it didn't actually come to pass. But for many reasons, throughout the last couple of years, we had to keep changing like time frames and stuff. So it really stunk. It is so warm out, so nice out, but it is raining as well. But it's sun, rain, sun, rain, sun, rain. Um, so it's still enjoyable, you know? And then here's the playground area for all the kids to come and and just be little munchkins and run around. It's all carpeted, green floor. And then this is my son's favorite, 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 other than going fishing with his dad, the basketball court. This is where he spends most of his time for sure. Kids are already riding the bikes. It's only 8.30 in the morning. I've been up since 3.30 doing this, so. We're walking here, I think. Maybe we can't even get in there yet. They usually have it locked until nine. Um, so 
There's a walkway back up to the camp area. We come have picnics down here, eat on the side of the water. There's another one of my favorite swings. Shuffleboard, you can go get the um, things that you need to play that at the front. You just have to sign out the pieces of the game. There's a hot tub over there. This is the front pool. I showed you the back pool yesterday. So this is that. And then I don't know if you can see it, but in that gazebo back there is another hot tub inside of that gazebo. That's really fun in the evening before they close it up to come like the last hour and be in the gazebo and do a hot tub, little circle with everybody just chilling and relaxing together. So yeah, so this is this is our favorite place on earth. Like I've said so many times before, we love to travel. We love to go away. We love to do so many different things. But the thing is, all of the rest of the vacations are like, you know, they're fun, but they're work. They're active, they're busy, they're amusement parks. There's a lot of running around and keeping schedules to get the most out of the trip. We literally come here, have fires. Last night we were actually too tired to even have a fire, but we just come here and chill. We come here and we spend time together and Isaiah meets friends and Richie goes fishing. We have friends come up and we just really, really get the most out of it. So this is definitely our favorite getaway. And honestly, I, hope someday that I can just dissolve everything that we have materialistically. I'll get a storage unit and keep all my memorabilia, my crafts and what have you that we, essentials that we need. We're going to get a little tiny mobile home uh, to travel in, a little vehicle, and take out of the storage unit what we need. You know, when we need it, use it at the time. And this is hopefully where we'll live someday. And I don't even mind if it's tenting or towing a camper behind us. I don't really care. But this is the way that I've always just wanted to live my life is free and crafting <laughs> with the people I love. That's it. So that's what the plan is eventually. Right here is the recreation hall where we were supposed to get married. I don't know if you can even see in the windows. But there's like 20, 30 tables that you can set up and chairs and everything. There's a big projector screen. They do have dances in here on Saturday nights. There is so many people here that actually live here um, eight months out of the year. And one of the gentlemen that lives here, he spins records on Saturday nights and they have dances, movie nights inside of the tent. It's really awesome. I wish we had been able to pull off the wedding here. Still makes me pretty sad when I think about it, but our wedding was small and beautiful in the backyard. And, you know, maybe eventually we'll renew our vows. There's some more bathrooms back here behind the pool and the rec hall. And then this is the gazebo with the hot tub in it and this is where we come to chill and sit in the nighttime so this is already going to be a fairly long introduction to the day for our second day so I'm thinking about maybe wrapping up this video and doing a two-part for today um, just to make sure that I can fit both of them in to my phone um, memory and so this vlog went from about 3 30 in the morning until almost 9 and then I may or may not do a midday one um, depending on what we're doing and maybe a late afternoon to the evening vlog to show you what else I am going to be walking down to the beach also which is right across from where we stay in this campground the ocean front in the center of Old Orchard Beach is literally 10 minute walk 
down the street to that beautiful, beautiful ocean. So that's it. I think I'm going to wrap this up, get this video together. I hope you guys are having a good morning with me on the second day of our camping trip. And that's, that's going to be it. And I will see you guys in either another vlog or two today. So enjoy. Thank you so much for being here with me. And also thank you for just being a part of my life. Really, honestly. I think you guys are amazing and such a great asset to my days. And I really appreciate you. So like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know how you like it here. Hopefully this will entice you guys to go and spend some quality time doing something like this low key with your families and I'll see you soon. I just wanted to wait for him to pass. All right, I'm gonna head back to the campsite really quick until Richie and I might walk down to the beach. See you guys later.